let's start with our warriors. A short sword. We have a training sword. And if you hover over the top of it, you can see the damage and the shielding it gives. This is a black sword, which looks pretty good. Sultana has a two-handed sword. Now, the thing is, we get another two-handed sword. That's the great thing about two-handed swords. Zoltana can actually carry two of them. Love her to have a club of some type because I like the people to reflect the gear that they actually have. Natasha has a spear of some type. So let's go ahead and put that in there so it represents that. Looks like Leia's... Wow, my healer is bomb weak. We're going to have to be very careful what we look up on there. We have this Pavise. More shielding. We're going to go ahead and switch that out. <clears throat> Dual wielding. So it looks like we've got a big stone axe. I don't believe we can do wheel that way that we typically would. 16 and 3, 15. We want this one. Now, since she's not going to max manage, but he has a big axe picture, we're going to switch this out. Bam! We'll go back to you. Now, each weapon has a different attack bonus. We've got two people with two-handed. And shield. Two-handed. No other armor. So, the shield not equipped is bad quality so we will not be using that a lot three and four all right Zoltana's there he's got a two-handed weapon no I wanted to give him at least some armor since he's not gonna be doing it we will give you three and four this shield and the sword with poison damage Training sword is a good sword for defenses. You can see that it adds one damage and five shielding. And as I'm pointing at the screen, like you can all see that. So let's see how much it weighs. 68. What else can we give? 132, as you can see the weight there. At least I have a sword so I can do something. One damage five, that'll give me some bonus. Best way to go there. Who has the blunt mace? Bing. Yes, I went and changed it up and gave her the mace so her picture matches. That leaves us with a two-handed sword. Now we've got the two-handed axe, which will do way more damage than the two-handed sword. But the two-handed sword does have shielding. Mace, sword, sword and shield. And if they're going to be exactly the same, we're going to take less weight. We could actually... Can we do this and keep the... No. We want you to have the shield. But we're going to give you an axe and shield. It's going to give us eight damage and with two poison as opposed to 
two damage, four more shielding on a bad quality sword. We do have a lot of bad quality weapons to start off with. All right, so we'll start with Leia. Got everything we can give Leia to, or Lay, to start off with. Lay's our healer. We definitely want a healer along with us. And we gave him the training sword to start off with. I think that's the best bet because I don't believe he's going to be able to carry anything else. Casimir switched away because of the damage factor. We could go to. But eight damage, we could add four more shielding and make him more durable if we gave him back the sword. But there we, we might find a weapon along the way so we can give him something that'll be a little better. So now what we're going to do is go to our inventory. And everything we're not using, we're going to put back into town. because we don't need to carry that weight. Now the number at the bottom here shows how much weight we're carrying versus how much we can maximum carry in our party. We're only gonna be out to stay out for about six days with the amount of wood that we have in our expedition. So hopefully we get some, we'll find something along the way really quick. <clears throat> now we're gonna go to the equipment for the people in the city. Olena, big weight, we're gonna give her the stone axe. 200 pounds. Give him the big two-handed sword. Radagost, 250. And that means Zoa is just getting a shield to go with right now. Because at some point you're going to need to make sure your people are protected. The city will get attacked. Um, there's no sense in not having them equipped with things that would be useful. Again, production, crafting. We really need to find a place where we can find some metals. Manage supplies. So we're going to close this out. Grab our expedition. So since we're going to go on his uh, tutorial, we're going to once we're here, I guess we're going to per turn heal wounds. On our second playthrough, when we go through, we're definitely not going to need to do, uh, oh, this is good. We're close by some fruit. We'll see what, uh, let's turn that off. So what now? Such as meeting me will occur throughout your adventures. Sometimes they are random, sometimes predestined, and always varied. Events can occur when you're out exploring, but also globally or within your village. So remember, leaving your settlement unattended may be dangerous. Right, events can occur at any time, both within the village and the world. Anything else? Any events will ask you to bring stuff or do things in order to move to the next. Right, we can gather by setting up camps in the world. Got it. Good. Now events can lead to conversations or just random disasters, but they can also lead to challenges. To show you what I mean, track down a pack of boars nearby, marked by a blue question mark, and bring me back their bones. All right, point me in the direction of the boars. One XP, one research.
We have no movement left, but we are going to open the research screen. Point researching. Spider silk, vine, wicker. Let's get some wicker. So of course, and now it'll show me where Wicker is. Nowhere near us, which sounds about normal. And as we have no more movement, we need to end our turn. We got wood. He's gonna make one more jerky. Oh. And we can get some gathering tools. All because we got the five wicker, we can put this to use. And of course we can use, the catalyst doesn't matter. As we're gathering wood each turn, three extra gathering, confirm. Let's go ahead and put I already have six gaining 40. She'll finish that and he'll get more to it. She'll actually join him in the queue afterwards as we need, we do need to upgrade some of our gathering people. Any help right now is better than nothing and it puts all our people to work. But right click to dismiss and of course it's gonna tell me anything that's been spotted. Um, physical or go with the plain old fight. Perhaps leave it for now and come back later. Let's do the plain old fight. Two skulls. It's up a little bit, a little bit higher than I was expecting to start off with. But we'll go with basic plain old. Before each challenge, your cards are split between offense and defense and tactical. Here's the options to reshuffle if you don't like this draw. You will learn more about the challenges and mechanics once we begin. So it splits my people 50-50. Um, Thirteen, fourteen. It looks like my biggest attack guys are already in the offensive hand. We're going to keep in play. As you can see, I have no other choices. Card minigame. You'll need to eliminate your opponent's cards. Your deck is made up of your party members. I think we're good. We're going to just go ahead and skip that little thing. Looks like I can play one card to start off with. So we're going to hit do. That's my spear. I don't want to have her. So we need a big defensive guy to start off with. Hmm. 26 damage. So we're going to put Rajul in then. Skip to the face. Wild boar. He brought it out, he's confused. We're gonna put Casimir out. Cause he's gonna do 26 and kill that. 21 plus five is 26. We can always just shield the ally, but we get one play. Let's put Casimir out. And Enter will go ahead and move this thing forward. 